Hashimoto's Thyroiditis and ATA Recommendations Hashimoto's thyroiditis, also known as chronic lymphocytic thyroiditis, is an autoimmune disease that affects the thyroid gland. This condition is characterized by the destruction of the thyroid gland, leading to hypothyroidism. In this video, we will discuss the definition, causes, types, signs and symptoms, diagnostic criteria, investigation, and treatment of Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Definition, Hashimoto's thyroiditis is an autoimmune disease that causes chronic inflammation of the thyroid gland, leading to a decrease in thyroid hormone production. This condition is the most common cause of hypothyroidism in the United States. Causes, the exact cause of Hashimoto's thyroiditis is unknown, but it is believed to be caused by a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Some of the risk factors associated with Hashimoto's thyroiditis include Family history of autoimmune disease, female gender, exposure to radiation, presence of other autoimmune diseases, nutrient deficiencies particularly iodine and selenium Types, there are two types of Hashimoto's thyroiditis silent thyroiditis this type of Hashimoto's thyroiditis is characterized by a transient hypothyroidism followed by a period of hypothyroidism. It is also known as painless thyroiditis because patients do not experience any pain or discomfort. Postpartum thyroiditis, this type of Hashimoto's thyroiditis occurs in women after giving birth. It is characterized by a transient hypothyroidism followed by a period of hypothyroidism, in some cases, the thyroid function may return to normal, but in others, it may progress to permanent hypothyroidism. Signs and Symptoms The signs and symptoms of Hashimoto's thyroiditis are similar to those of hypothyroidism and may include, fatigue, weight gain, cold intolerance, dry skin, constipation, hair loss, joint pain, muscle weakness, menstrual irregularities. Diagnostic Criteria The diagnosis of Hashimoto's thyroiditis is based on a combination of clinical and laboratory findings. The following tests may be ordered to confirm the diagnosis. Thyroid Function Tests These tests measure the levels of thyroid hormones, T3, T4, and thyroid-stimulating hormone TSH, in the blood. Thyroid autoantibody tests, these tests measure the levels of thyroid peroxidase antibodies, TPOAB, and thyroglobulin antibodies, TAGAB, in the blood. Ultrasound, this test is used to visualize the thyroid gland and evaluate the presence of nodules or inflammation. Investigation, if Hashimoto's thyroiditis is suspected, the following investigations may be ordered, thyroid function tests, thyroid autoantibody tests, ultrasound of neck. Biopsy, a small sample of thyroid tissue may be removed for examination under a microscope to confirm the diagnosis. Treatment, the treatment of Hashimoto's thyroiditis is aimed at restoring normal thyroid function and managing the symptoms of hypothyroidism. The following treatments may be recommended. Levothyroxine, this medication is used to replace the missing thyroid hormone and restore normal thyroid function. Nutritional supplements, iodine and selenium supplements may be recommended to address any nutrient deficiencies. Lifestyle modifications, eating a healthy diet, exercising regularly, and managing stress may help improve thyroid function and reduce the severity of symptoms. Monitoring, regular monitoring of thyroid function and autoantibody levels is necessary to evaluate the effectiveness of treatment and adjust the medication dose as needed. The American Thyroid Association, a TA, has published guidelines for the management of Hashimoto's thyroiditis. These guidelines are based on the best available evidence and expert opinion and are intended to help healthcare providers diagnose and treat patients with Hashimoto's thyroiditis. The eight year recommendations for the management of Hashimoto's thyroiditis include Diagnosis, 
Hashimoto's thyroiditis should be diagnosed based on clinical features, laboratory tests, and imaging studies. Treatment, levothyroxine therapy is recommended for patients with symptomatic hypothyroidism and for those with subclinical hypothyroidism who have positive thyroid peroxidase antibodies, TPOAB, and or thyroglobulin antibodies, TAGAB, and who are at risk for progression to overt hypothyroidism. Monitoring, patients with Hashimoto's thyroiditis who are receiving levothyroxine therapy should have periodic monitoring of serum TSH and free T4 levels. Annual monitoring of TPOAB and or TAGAB levels may also be considered. Cardiovascular disease, patients with Hashimoto's thyroiditis should be screened for cardiovascular risk factors and treated as appropriate. Lifestyle modifications, patients with Hashimoto's thyroiditis should be counseled on the importance of maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including regular exercise, a healthy diet, and avoiding smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. It is important to note that these recommendations are intended as guidelines and may not apply to every patient. Healthcare providers should use their clinical judgment and individualize treatment plans for each patient based on their unique circumstances. In conclusion, Hashimoto's thyroiditis is a common autoimmune disorder that affects the thyroid gland, it can cause a range of symptoms, including fatigue, weight gain, and difficulty swallowing or breathing. If you are experiencing symptoms of Hashimoto's thyroiditis, it is important to see a doctor for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment. Thanks for watching, this presentation is made by Dr. Mohamed Arsalan Khan Diabetes Specialist MBBS, MSc, Diabetes and Endocrinology CCDB MJAKURCP, London, 